Um, so hopefully we found some new daggers to join our quiver. Yeah, it looks like we have. Or we've got two more. That's actually fewer than I thought. Um, huh. These uncursed daggers are presumably enchanted. Hopefully, positively. That might be useful someday. But in all likelihood, I'll just end up canceling them later, honestly. Um, these knives are promising for some enchantment. Uh, we got a good selection, so that's cool. Bearded axes are just, I want to lock them away. Um, this is nice. I might be able to make a well enchanted elven longsword. Probably not. Oh, wait, I don't want to. I want to put these in. I don't want to move them out. There we go. Um, just realized I was still wearing slow digestion, which might be why I haven't been hungry much yet. I have plenty of food. I'd much prefer to be warned than slightly less hungry. And actually, while I'm doing this, let's just bring out another lizard corpse. Ooh, I'm kind of running low on lizard corpses. Yikes. Hmm. Now I'm questioning whether I should actually go after that cockatrice nest. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, keep the oilskin cloak for when I'm facing scary stuff. Like the eels, I can take those out now. I'll probably do that just for peace of mind. These out, these out, no, not these out. I'll keep the food rations too. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Right. Uh -huh. Man, it's so much easier to figure out what to put in a bag with menu colors. For a long time I didn't have them. And it would always be hard to pick out like what I had equipped and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to test these uh, leather armors real quick. I'm going to be switching into a leather armor regardless. They're both plus zero though. So those will go in the bag, take out a plus one leather armor, whatever that might be. There we are. Um, I'm much more prepared to be thieving now. Spell books, I certainly don't need those. Blindness, lots of healing, which is great. Um, I sense alchemy in my future. Uh, actually, I'll keep the sickness because I might want to poison my daggers again soon to take out crisis or whatever. I'm never going to say that correctly. I've made my peace with that. Um, let's see, fire. Actually, I'll keep the lightning for now in case I need it to blind stuff. I might as well keep a fire on hand too. This for now. Certainly don't need this. Okay. Oh, I filled up anyway. I mean, before I forget again, I'm gonna name these spell books. Um, I think I might have gotten a point of wisdom at some point, so that's cool. I technically know the difference between plaid and plain, but I might as well lay it out. Really. Uh, gold key. It's close to everything. Mm -hmm. Ones, just the gems. Uh, 
um, down to 725 weight. That's nice. I'm sure stealing the gold plate mail from Crisis will be make me at least burdened, but hopefully not stressed. With my lower... Oh, and I came across a lantern somewhere. Don't know when that happened. Um, okay. Um, let's just see what scrolls I have right now. I'm curious. Huh. Okay. Blessed scroll of magic detection I might use soonish. Or I might wait till after the castle, I don't know. I have a good number of them now. Yeah. I might use that after bringing down all the gear I care about. Uh, Potion-wise, I have my gain level that I want to use. Two of them, actually. I'll just use one right now. Don't need to get a high level right, right away. Uh, I think I'm going to use these two. Why not? Um, that's... I'll take this potion of paralysis if I need it. Um, so in vanilla, the common thing to do is um, use cursed potions of paralysis to attack enemies because they um, they last longer. I think that's still probably the right move in Evil Hack. But I also know that if you're wielding a cursed weapon, which includes a cursed non-weapon object, you can sometimes hit yourself in the face. I don't know if that ever shatters a potion or not. Um, it does mean you miss, though. So that's something to keep in mind a bit. Not really. Actually, I'm already at 10,000 experience up. Huh. I mean, that was through massacring like an entire level of soldiers, though. It would probably take a while to get to 80,000 non-artificially. So I'm just going for it. And I finally have enough to increase my daggers. Happy is the day. As soon as I get another point of intelligence, I'm reading a Blessed Amnesia scroll so I can get those levels out of short sword and into something more useful. I think I might actually go with stealing. Because, um, I mean, long swords and two-handed combat and daggers are all I really need ever in terms of weapons. I don't really have any spells right now that I care about, although I'd like divination at some point. Matter... I don't know. Escape... Eh. I'm speedy and have jumping boots. What more can I ask for? I guess levitation, maybe. But I have an amulet of flying, so... Uh, and then I might want to get a level of riding at some point, but that's basically for the end game. Okay. Um... I think we're about ready to head back up. Is there anything I'm missing? Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a good number of enchant armor scores, scrolls. I feel like usually I have a shortage of those. At least compared to, uh, compared to enchant weapon. Yep, I think I'm good. Um, So, actually, I'm going to head down and take on these cockatrices right now, because why not? Oh, speaking of the devil, there's one right now. Okay, it's down. Oh, and I'm on an altar level, so I should sacrifice that thing. Silly me. Pardon me. Okay, guess I was losing some luck. Or maybe I was never at max, I don't know. So a little bit annoyed that I haven't gotten any gifts recently. But I was really lucky with the first two gifts, both in terms of what they were, um, and just in terms of how fast I got them as well. So I really shouldn't complain. Won't stop me though. It is the time-honored right of a NetHack player to complain, regardless of whether it's deserved or not. Although it all too often is. Ooh, a disgusting mist. I'm so judgy. Um, I 
Oh, it just occurred to me a while back a um, a dwarf soldier hit another dwarf soldier and I couldn't figure out why. And it was totally because it saw my displaced image over there. Like, wherever the dwarf soldier was. Mystery solved. Actually, I'm putting this in my bag. I don't need to worry about playthons. Um, yeah, stealth is still pretty useful, I'd say, and I, th I think it's thematic that nearby monsters get woken up. Oh, oh, energy vortex. But I have no vulnerable stuff in my inventory that isn't hidden by gloves, and I am electricity resistant, so suck it. You are no longer a scary enemy. Boom, dead. These statues showing up keeps throwing me off guard. Ooh, potion of gain ability. That's lovely to see. 13 intelligence. Honestly, it's kind of wasteful, but I might just bless the single potion and quaff it so that I can get up my stealing before facing crisis. Um, and after Ludios, I think I might take on the quest. I'd like to have some good stealing for that, too. I'd rather not face two at once. Okay, I guess it's just happening. Actually, I'm going to adjust my main daggers and I'm going to be the unpoisoned ones. And I'll save the poisoned ones for when I really want them. Four daggers at a time, we love to see it. Um, I was whiz testing something with a hobbit the other day. Uh, a hobbit rogue? What was it? I think I was trying to figure out whether um, throwing weapons at a grey dragon would cancel the weapons. Like if I threw daggers at them, would they get cancelled? The answer is no, interestingly enough. Um, hashtag evil hacks. So, uh, grey dragons are much less scary now for me, I feel like. Um... But yeah, I have the like most recent version, which includes the fixes to make hobbits have the multi-shot, and it was throwing like five daggers at once, and it was just such a beautiful thing. But four daggers is plenty too, for the most part. <sighs> Freaking locusts. There we go. Okay, this one's getting gunned down. Wow. Tough dude, little dude. I can't wait till I have 25 strength. I'll be doing five more damage per dagger. It'll be amazing. Um, I will miss Dragon Blink Bane's reflection, I suppose. Okie doke. No time to break open these statues and see if they've got any neat stuff. And celebrate the fact that I totally avoided getting stoned. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, mud boots. What are those? Um, Levitation or fumbling? Damn. Um, I mean, I don't, you don't really face sewage outside of the gnomish mines, so. Uh, whatever. Um, bone carved staff. This is some kind of staff that improves your spell casting. And even though from the description it sounds like some sort of randomized thing, they actually aren't randomized. Um, it's a specific staff. So each kind of staff is. Uh, is that the right level? Yeah. Um, each kind of staff boosts a specific school of spellcasting. Um, so I might find ones with like division for division or matter to be useful because a lot of those spells aren't really combat specific. So I can like wield the staff, cast whatever I want with the bonus, and then unwield it and go about my business. I actually don't know off the top of my head which staff the bone carved one is. I want to say it's maybe clerical spells. Yeah, I'll look that up later. Um, some of them are really easy to f identify. Staves of war, staves of war. Uh, they're iron shod and heavier, and they do extra damage, so that's easy to remember. Staffs of matter are. Um, lighter than the other staffs, which is kind of weird, but still reasonably easy to remember. The others are kind of a crapshoot. Like, it's not necessarily, at least not to me, it's not necessarily clear, like, what the theme is or whatever. So I find them difficult to remember. Regardless, I don't have any spells yet, so 
put them right there. Um, I mean, that could be a cube for all I care. Why should I bother to face it when I can just not? Looks like we have another player monster in our hands. What was it? Orcish Ranger. Well, its gear might not be the best. It'll have a lot of arrows, but they're probably going to be orcish, which are no good for forging, unfortunately. Um, on the upside, I can probably just stab it from up close. Plus, it's orcish, so I get the mythical bonus. And dead. Vorpal Blade. Oh, and it has normal arrows. That's a bit of a surprise. This is probably enchanted, so I'll take it. Um, the other stuff is kind of useless. Yeah. Um, I'll leave the sack for now. It probably has useful stuff, but hopefully none of it will be taken in the next eight turns or whatever as I pop on over to sacrifice this Poor sapient soul. Um, should get me something good. No, luck, whatever. And that was kind of useless. I don't think rangers ever spawn with like specific spell books. I don't know what spells they get. They're not like spell casty sorts of characters. Maybe they get like light or something. I don't know. Jumping could be... No, jumping's a level 2 spell now. If it was ever not a level 2 spell. I don't really know. Why. Um, wait, is it a level 2 spell? Whatever. I will find out eventually when I read all these lovely books. Speaking of which, when I have 13 intelligence, so that'll be 13 plus 7 plus 4, I'll be able to read level 2 spell books successfully. Guaranteed, as long as they're not cursed. So actually, I think I'm going to bless that potion of gain ability, first off. Um, and then... Uh, quaff it, read the Amnita scroll, read a bunch of spell books, and I'll be much better prepared to take on stuff later. So that'll be cool. Um, oh, it's a curse potion of gain ability. Shoot. I don't want to waste two potions of holy water on that thing. I might try praying to my god, just for the heck of it. I could get something good out of it, too. Maybe. Um, I don't think I have any good, like, blessed remove curse scrolls or anything like that. If I have a good stack, then maybe I'll use holy water on them, but I don't think I do. Oh, and I forgot to test my displacement cloak. I mean, that one's burnt, so regardless, this one's going to be an upgrade. Oh, and it's plus two, is plus one, plus two, plus two, yeah. Cool, I'm keeping that. Even if it gets burnt, I mean, it's not a permanent cloak, so I don't care. Um, yeah. This, what could it be? I'm trying to think if it would be possible that this could be useful cursed. I've already found invisibility, so it's not that. Other than that, I don't really care about potions being cursed, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep my cursed stuff out and pray to my god and hope that Magan curses me, because that would be useful. Hopefully he doesn't crown me, because that wouldn't be terribly useful. Um, yeah. So what cursed stuff do we have that run on curse? Sure, why not the weapons? Might as well do the boots. Uh, scrolls we should keep as they are. Oops. And then the potions we definitely want to uncurse. The rings we always want to uncurse. And one we always want to uncurse. In oh, and I'm full. How much am I missing? I think just a couple of wands. Or just a couple of rings in the wands. Uh, let's drop, or let's put in my pickaxe. And drop. Poison daggers and Odin daggers, is that enough? 
this. Yeah, I'll leave a spot up. Uh, slot up in. Um, and let's see if I can get these apes to fall over to the altar. Come on, folks. Or don't, whatever. I'm um, gonna drop my luck stone. Hopefully, I won't be crowned. Let's see what happens. Oh, it only uncurses my possessions. That's so. or like what I'm wearing. That is so lame. I should have wielded the potion of the inability. I could have sworn that it uncursed your inventory. Um, if you got like the uncursing boon. Oh, maybe it, because I had the cursed ring, it was counted as a minor trouble, so I couldn't get any favors. That could be it. Oof. Strange is no fun. Um, okay, well in that case... Hmm. Let's dump all this in the bag. Oh, and just one check to make sure nothing, nothing is going to explode my bag. Yeah, we're good. Um, I think I might give it another try if I can appease Mog quickly. Which, well, we'll see. I believe I have a wand of Create Monster, so I can use that. Oh, and a Cave Squirrel, apparently. Um, with the different materials that wands can be made of, you can occasionally get a wood golem dropping wands, or like an iron golem dropping wands, etc. Actually, I'm not sure about the iron golem. It might just drop chains. Um, but that's always cool. It's usually just the normal st staves and stuff. One time I got a pair of wooden gauntlets of power, which is kind of neat. Um, it was, it's, you know, it's decent. Stone get gauntlets of power are, in my opinion, hands down the best gauntlets of power. Because they don't impede spell casting, they're two points of AC instead of one, and they're fixed, and they're even a little bit lighter than metal. So it's not to love. Um, some people prefer mithril because it's lighter and still has does extra gives extra protection, which like I guess is sort of fair, fine. Um, some people prefer bone because it's lighter and doesn't impede spell casting, even though it gives less protection. Which again is like technically, technically there is something to be said for that, I guess. But like, I mean, seriously, it's like 10 units of mass. Like, when does that matter? Um, I mean, it definitely can matter. <laughs> um, but personally, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, worrying about that. Let's see if I can get this centaur corpse. I do not want to drop everything. No, thank you. Um, let's see if I can get the center corpse lifted up. Um, as long as I can lift it, I can just teleport over. Nope, it's not happening. Yeah, that's kind of fair, honestly. Yeah, they're heavy bastards. I think if I took, if I dropped just a couple more things, I could probably pick it up, but I'd be like overtaxed and basically useless. So I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to see what the hell this creature is that's scaring me. Clay Golem? Yeah. So, shouldn't be scary. I am now 67 rocks richer, which is real exciting. Uh, and we've got another player monster on our hands. What is this? Another ranger. They really are reconnoitering around this level. Um, but this is my town, and it ain't big enough for the both of us. Fungus, whatever. Oh, displacing. Forgot about that. Hmm, this dude has some decent weapons, it seems like. And that it's hitting me a lot. It's not doing much damage to me. Cool arrows, another displacement bag. Oh, and these bags, they're not sacks, so it's an oilskin bag. I think the other one might have been oilskin as well. 
I'm definitely picking one of those up. Um, perhaps not right away though. Because I want to sacrifice this dude. Oops. Alright, reconciliation. We love to see it. Everybody getting along. I'm just gonna what are giant ants? Giant ants levels. Difficulty four. So sacrifice value of five. I believe that means they can increase luck. If they were difficulty three three or below, then it wouldn't be worth it to sacrifice them, since I want to pray. Because it, it would give me a chance of getting an artifact, but I don't want that right now. I just want more luck. Um, okay, no luck stand in hand. Although, given how my sacrifices keep increasing my luck, I'm honestly not sure if I'm at max luck or not. Um, regardless, pray. Got a spell book that's not terribly helpful, but I guess I have it now. And it is blessed. Can be identify or remove curse. Both would be useful actually. Hey self. I mean I'm not gonna say no. One good thing about hey self or any other form of speed, so speed monster, potions to speed, etc., is it immediately cancels any slow effects you have. Um, and since those are more common in evil hack, the those are more useful. Um, yeah, so these two... Oh, and then I'm full because I'm still carrying around all my cursed stuff. Which I guess is just remaining cursed. So be it. I'll check to see if I have any... Uh, any remove cursed scrolls. Because I really would like to get to Intelligence 13. Yoke, um, and then I'm just gonna tip this bag onto the floor because I don't need any of it. Yep, oh wait, where did this displacement cloak come from? I could have sworn I picked that up. Oh, right, the, the, my inventory was full. All right, um, yep, yeah. and name this bag oil skin because that's what it is. Um, and then go over and see if this other bag that I forgot to pick up earlier is also oil skin or not. Oof da. And because there was stuff in the bag, I know it's not a bag of tricks. So that's fine to do. I'm just trying to get over to the altar as quickly as I can. Get rid of this nightmare. Um, yeah, okay. Hopefully, I can get this winged gargoyle to come back around. Can't remember if they leave corpses. I think they might. At least another time. Um, did I pick up that other bag earlier? Is it in my inventory? Yeah. No. Maybe the gargoyle picked it up. Or maybe I put it in my stash already. Or this is. I thought this was a peaceful eat, but it is not. Uh oh. Can I put stuff? I'm dropping that thing. I'm not sure if I can put it in my bag and I don't want to risk it. There's the sack. Okay, it's a sack, so I don't care about it. Ring of Aggravate Monster is pretty useless. It's one for the poly pile, I suppose. Okay, I'll take Strained. I can see my bag, so I can always teleport to it. 
Zum Beispiel kann ich nehmen. Um, I'm gonna go for my wand of great monster, I think. Give that a whirl. What's this dude? Woodland elf. Monsters just keep coming. Um, and it's quite helpful. Who? It's a chameleon, probably. Monster and it's identified to a snake. Oh, and a leprechaun, of course, shows up at the exact moment when I want my ring of protection from shape changing on. Typical. Well, I don't need it anymore, so boom. Take out my tinning kit for this chameleon. stuff in my inventory, so just go up and whack the leprechaun. See if there's anything in my bag I don't need in there right now. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. no, I want the good stuff though. Leather oil skin bag. I suppose I can keep it in there for now. Um, I'll use it to store emergency stuff at some point, but I'm not sure if I have anything I really want to store at the moment. Stone on D, it's not right, it should be at L. The proper way of things. D is for slow digestion. And then let's just see what this other cloak of displacement has to say for itself. Is that one more? No, it's the same. Cool. I won't say no. Um, and then I'll have to sacrifice. I'm just checking if there's. Okay, there's a rock beer, so I'm gonna look at that real quick actually. Class piercer, maybe? Heck yeah. Um, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 46 turns to get there. I'm not burdened. Okay, that's plenty of time. Because I'm also fast, so moves aren't turns. Oh, and I can teleport now. Great. Um, wanted to make sure I could get there before the corpse got old, because it was pretty far away. Reconciliation. Love to see it. I'm going to zap once just to see if my luck can still get increased. That would be cool. Um, great monster. Little cleric. Oh, it was kind enough to summon insects for me. Let's see if it does that again. Probably won't. Nope, you're not fleeing out of the temple. No, thank you. Okay. It's gone now. Well, that was pretty useless. Or unproductive, I should say. Got some luck. Heck, I'm going for it. I should just trap a couple of things so I have room. Mm. And take out all the cursed stuff. One new check to see. Yep, I don't think I need any of that stuff to be cursed. And there's some free slots, so yep, I got everything cursed out. Stones on the ground. Golden glow. Oh, that's more health. Damn. 
Um, ooh, good news. We have ourselves a snark. Um, snarks are a lovely thing to see because they're corpses and they drop one all the time because they're large. Grant 5% disintegration resistance. Why? Honestly, I have no idea. But they do. Um, if I weren't already cold and poison resistant, I would be hoping that it would turn into a boojum. Sometimes when you attack a snark in Malay, it turns into a boojum, which is significantly scarier than a snark. Um, but they also grant more resistance. Um, they can also teleport you and turn you invisible for a few turns, which is kind of funny. Um, and can be convenient. Because, um, yeah, their attacks are pretty damaging, but if you have... I mean, even if you don't have teleport control, half the time they teleport you away, so they're kind of like a self-solving problem. Um, oops. Every time I don't swap places with something, I like have a miniature heart attack when I think that I accidentally attacked them. Um, morning stars are actually a useful find because you can um, forge a spiked barding with those, and if you put a spiked barding on a steed, it can't get swallowed. So that's neat. Um, I think in general I prefer to f make reflective bardings. So there's normal bardings, reflective ones, and spiky ones. Um, and normal ones just give them some armor. Spiky ones give them protection from digestion attacks. Um, damn, flew out, fled off the altar. I don't think I'll be able to pick it up. And it's casting spells now, great. Oh yeah, no way. Come on, there we go. All right. That was quick. Um, so spiky ones prevent pets from getting digested. Reflective uh, bardings obviously reflect, so they can't get disintegrated or death raid. Um, and in general, if you have a steed, you're often wearing it, so Digestion attacks aren't as much of a worry. Um, you can still get knocked off your steed and then it can subsequently get eaten, but that's at least somewhat rare. Um, meanwhile, you get all sorts of rays shot at you all the time and your reflection doesn't protect your steed at all. So that's always a useful property to have. I suppose if you're riding a Kirin or whatever, um, some sort of steed that can wear an amulet, then spiky barding becomes more useful. Although I think if a creature can wear an amulet, it can also wear rings, and slow digestion will also protect them. Love in the back stab. Um, okay, I'm at max luck for sure now, because I didn't get any luck from that when I otherwise should have. Um, so... Let's hope that this is the one. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. Um, you're kicking the teeth for those of us who are spoiled when you get told something that you already knew. I suppose can't really complain. Um. I'm going to pick up the morning star and just drop it again real quick so I know what BC it is. Okay, cool. Um, okay. More sacrifice. I don't think it'll attack me. Fuck it, I'm just going to attack it. Yep, it turned to flee. Great. I wasn't sure if somehow stealing was different from the whole line attacks.
Ooh, a bunch of them at once. Useful. You know you've got good damage output when you can kill a monster before it even has time to run away from you in a sanctuary. Starting to rack up the useless crap in this room. Um, I might get a chest at some point, I don't know. Oh! Okay, it's an Alex. I think I'm. Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, it has a heavy mace, lame. I was hoping for a longsword. Maybe I could get something good from that. Polish shield isn't horrible, it's reflective. I can use it to make bardings. Reflective partings. I'm certainly not going to wear a shield myself. I'm all about the stabby stab. <clears throat> Ogre Royal. 1700, I think I can lift that. No, barely. Okay, I'm just going to pray immediately. I'm probably still at max luck. Let's drop my bag first because it might have new crushed things. Drop these two. Still nothing I want to be cursed. Yep, I have one new cursed item. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, they're pleased. Love to hear it. I didn't even drop my luck stone that time. What a ripoff. Um, this is taking significantly longer than I thought it would. <sighs> uh, so much for Ludios in one episode, right? At this point, I'm starting to think maybe I should just not. You know what? I'm going to pray one more time, and I'm going to pray for some holy water. I'm sure I have some potions that I don't need. Um, and if nothing else, I can use that to encourage things. Ooh, you dumb beast. There we go. Dagger. Um, and then our create monster one is empty, so recharging time. Didn't explode, that's great. Now that I think of it, I'm not sure if exploding wands make an actual explosion or not. I don't make a habit of recharging them that much. Probably should not have done it next to a priest. Well, I was lucky. Oh, another centaur. Dang it. Oh, and it has like no health too, so I could easily one-shot it. Oh, it's neutral. Whatever. Okay, this I can definitely not pick up, but it also has a whole lot of health. And one more. And one more. Okay, that's not like it. I'm just gonna wait till it ends up on the altar. Boom. Boom. Lovely. I'm having a lot more luck getting fleeing monsters to land on the altar than normal. I think it's because it's a two square wide room, so they don't have a lot of room to maneuver. And half the time the priest is walking away anyway. Another heavy mace. Rip off. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to take blunt weapons and make them into sharp ones. The opposite is somewhat true with like daggers and the like. Um, this dwarf actually, I don't know if it has a pickaxe. If it does, I don't want it wrecking my sanctuary, so it did. Glad I killed it. Oh, and I got some luck too. I'm probably back at max then. Uh, I'll just drop this here for now. Drop. 
First, I might as well pick those up too. Dark school. Oh, and I wanted to uh, to get some holy water, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. Um, do do. We want to take out this, this, this. This, this. Is this this two, I guess. What should do it. Um, oh, my weapon letters are getting all messed up. Annoying. Got another dagger, though. That's cool. I think I'm actually going to toss these elven daggers. I just haven't been using them. It's not like they're taking up that much weight, but I mean, 12 AUM is in some ways a lot. You can get 40, or once you get the bag of the Asperities, which is an artifact bag of holding, and it, when it's blessed, it reduces weight by six. So that's 72 units of something, which is like about four potions. Almost ate the Hobbit. That was a real close, close one, folks. Do not eat the Hobbit. Do not eat the Hobbit. Tinning the Hobbit is fine, but do not eat the Hobbit. Um, I guess I'm keeping that around for now. I'm putting it in my bag, as, uh, in my chest as soon as I can, and never looking at it again. Because I do not want to eat the Hobbit. Totally forgot to bring holy water. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, I'm just dropping the curse stuff actually. Except the potions. <sighs> I'm really an idiot. Okay. Have to go through a whole nother round of sacrificing. Possibly another recharging. Ugh. Um, and then I will bring the potions with me this time. Um, blindness, don't need. And actually, I don't know if there's anything else I can make into water on the spot. Frick, there isn't. And is that the only potion? Of, it's the only potion of healing water. Holy. I don't have any other potions of holy water, so. Where's my remove curse at? I have two scrolls. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it, but I won't be happy about it. The netpacker's prerogative. No, no, okay, blocked. There we go. Um, let's see what this warning thing is about. Powerlisk. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, and nymph. For the pyrolisk, I don't want to lose this sacrifice. I'll be back. Just die. Okay. If 
that always supposed to be like super amazing with lockpicks? Why on earth can I not do it when there's a horse kicking me in the back? Just so unrealistic. Demand a refund. Feeling my ass. I want reconciliation and I want it now. Ooh, want to fire, okay. I'm happy to retaliate in kind. Because it's a fire giant, the bolt can't hurt it, so there's no point in getting closer, so it'll reflect back at him. Of course, the first poison dagger I throw would kill them. Um, and I'm going to eat this dude because I'm not picking him up. It's not happening. At least it seems like there's a good number of random monsters poking about. I think those are soldiers over there. There's two of them, so I don't think it's a werejackal. They could have some good loot, and they could use some good loot. We'll just have to see. Um, what is this one? Elven Sergeant. I'll throw some daggers at it. It's iron vulnerable, so that should kill it pretty quickly. Unless, of course, it has a monkey directly behind it and uses it as a human shield, a humanoid shield. Great, left a corpse, very considerate. And a silver elven chain now. Not helpful. Um, too heavy. Silver mace. That would be a great find for some characters, but not for me. Um, yep. Is there anything good in this sack? Of course not. Another oil skin cloak. If I didn't already have one, I'd think that was useful. But I do. So I don't. I'm in a grumpy mood now. And of course it takes... I try to teleport one turn before I can pick it up, and the teleport would actually be useful. It's amazing how the game can seem to turn against you sometimes. Fuck it, I'm sapping the wand. So this is a magical eye. Um, they have annoying gaze attacks, but they're not as totally deadly as uh, the holders are. When you eat their corpse, it changes your luck somewhat randomly, with a slight average positive. Oh, this is his pet material. Um, I don't need it as a pet right now, so I'm just going to toss something that will eat. And I think it'll be peaceful. Yeah. So I can come back and tame it later. And then polymorph it into something awesome. And it didn't have the decency to leave a corpse. Honestly, I thought its corpse would be too big to even carry. But apparently it's not even a large animal. So, go figure. Where's my pickaxe at? In my bag. Pyrolisks are one of... Currently, they're one of the enemies I have a grudge against, um, only because I've 
keep on forgetting that they can burn my equipment. Um, and so I'll be like, oh, I'm totally fire resistant. I don't need to blind myself. And then I like totally screw up my cloak or whatever. Oh, and I'm missing two daggers. When did that happen? What a pain. Oh, I think over here. There they are. Um, yeah. Okay, come on. Give me some reconciliation. I'm not loving this missing wildly business. Okay. Back to good standing with our god. You know what? I'm just going to risk the crowning. Fuck it. Well, I, I'll regret it later if I do. Fine, I won't. You've convinced me. Uh... Oh, that was nice. Um... Was that boulder there before, or did it just appear? I swear I didn't see it before. Okay. Yeah, I know you're pleased. Damn it. Oh! This is what happens when you play annoyed. You forget to do what you actually meant to do. Um, I did not put my potion of water down on the altar, so I still don't have holy water. breaths. And where did my... Where's my bag of holding? Thank goodness I hadn't lost it somewhere. Oh, I think I dropped it instead of my luckstone. That was stupid. Whatever. Um, oh, now it's in a different spot. That's not good. Okay. Okay, I suppose there's nothing for it then to sacrifice again. Hmm. Okay. So let's do that. Okie doke. Um. Another magical eye. Kind of funny that they can flee. I guess they do have mines. Somehow. Even though they're just a large eye. Stranger things than they have mines, I suppose. Um, okay, moving away from the priest this time, and actually from other objects that may or may not explode. Alright. Giant mummy. Glad I could scare it, or glad I could kill it. I don't know if I could scare it usually. Because they're mindless. Um, it doesn't seem like it's, it was attacking me. I don't know. If I ever get flushed to stone, I might cast it at that just for a corpse. Because why not? It's not like the statue does me any good. Ooh, an Etten. 1700, I can lift that, probably. Uh-oh, it broke the door, didn't it? No, it didn't. Thank goodness. I must have left it open. Uh, it took me five turns. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Looks like we've got another domestic creature on her hands. Oh, and it's peaceful already, so I don't have to worry about it. It is just a kitten, but if I'm polymorphing it, it doesn't really matter what it starts out as. Oh! Hello. Damn it, they're all fleeing out the door before I can stop them. And throwing boulders at me, which is just not on. 
Okay, I got two of them to flee inwards. Oh, shoot. Lightning bolt. I don't want it to kill the priest. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, it's totally fine. Eh. Boom, dead. These dudes have a lot of health. It's actually, it was a very good idea to put stuff on the altar because they waste so much time picking things up. Okay, this dude's just not quitting. I don't think I can pick these dudes up. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten this dude because I have a corpse to sacrifice. Oh well. Okay, I'm at max luck again. Whew, deep breaths. This time we're gonna do it, folks. Um, drop the bag. Drop these and this. Take out cursed items. Oh, just take out all potions, really. Drop the water potion on the altar. Pick up all the cursed stuff, which since I dropped it on the floor, I can't do it easily, which is annoying. But the end is in sight. Actually, I just leave this on the ground. I don't care if it's cursed or not. Okay, well, I have room, so I don't care if it's Christian or not, I might as well uncurse it, if I can. <sighs> okay, didn't get anything, but at least I have a potion of holy water. That's all I really needed. I should have done that a long time ago. But I got there in the end, guys. That's what matters. Sort of. Is all full. <laughs> all right, let's blow this pop stand. Um, so I'm just going to bless the scroll, remove curse, and remove curse everything you got. Um, as soon as this horse gets the hell out of my way. of remove curse. some cursed stuff in there, how much, two things, so I can drop mm, gems, some of which are somehow uncursed, silly of me. Yep, nothing in the chest that I want uncursed, and this is all stuff I do want uncursed, so... 
and it's including the potion of gainability, right? Yes, it is. Oh, but I don't have enough to bless it afterwards. Damn it! Well, we need to uncurse everything at some point. <sighs> this has not been a good day. I mean, it's been a fine day, honestly. Got a lot of stuff done, didn't die. What more can you ask for? <sighs> still. Still, still, still. Fuck it, I'm bringing this with me. Maybe I can find some holy water randomly or something. Um, I'm keeping this and this now because they could be useful and they're not cursed anymore. Um, don't need another wand of locking though. And somehow I didn't have any cursed tools. That's funny. And test out these boots real quick. Level, level uh, levitation, that's neat. Currently, I don't have any good uh, amulets except flying, so I don't need any levitation boots. I also have water walking, which is cool. So. Okay, well that was largely a massive failure. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring some potions with me, dilute them along the way maybe. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. That'll do for now. I'll just find some water wherever that could be and maybe by the time I get back I can pray again. I just, I really want to be able to steal stuff better, and yeah, I think, I, I just honestly, I don't, I'm gonna like, I'm probably just gonna like end up going up to uh, Crisis and just totally wrecking him immediately and feeling stupid. Okay, I could, I could dip them in a fountain, but then I might curse my stuff and that would be so, so annoying. Um, oh, and I keep on forgetting. There's a crystal chest here, actually, I did that. Um, VDS level, whatever. You know what? Screw it, I'm just digging down on the fountain somewhere. is out of the way. Oh, it just gave me shallow water. It might always do that. So if you dip, you can don't need to fly to dip stuff in shallow water, but it also dries up when you dip stuff in it. Um, so it's limited use. Case in point. Um, sometimes it dries up. Sometimes it dries up when you kill a monster and it drops something into the puddle, um, which is annoying. Probably needed to prevent you from like giving stuff to a monster and then killing it so that it dilutes things. But still, oh, it didn't dry up that time. I guess it's not a 100% chance. I generally don't bother with shallow water, so I was not aware of that. Cool. Um, oops. Oh, hello. Well, I guess I now know what that is. I think it doesn't auto-identify, probably. What did they throw at me? Unicorn magenta. Um, oh, it did auto-identify. Great. Put that potion away. With fire giants around, I don't want that in the inventory. And then just to check, both not peaceful. Good to know. Eh. Damn it. It was... 
That was annoying. I'm gonna put on my flying amulet to get over this hole. Well, hardcore. I don't know if I can pick up the daggers while I'm over the hole. I can! That's neat. When you're flying over a pit, you can't pick up stuff in it. You can fly down into the pit, but uh, you can't just pick stuff up while you're floating over it. God, I hate diggers. Looks like it skipped this level. And this level? Wow, deep hole. Okay, I probably just missed it on another level. Whatever. I might as well give it some time to cool down anyway. Uh, so, just real quick, a couple of sacrifices out of do it. Oh, I only have one. Hmm. PYEC is probably recharged, but we're getting into wand exploding territory for sure. Glass knife, not forgeable otherwise. Could be a neat weapon. Okay, I'm probably at max luck again. And this time, I don't care about uncursing stuff. I'm solely in it for the holy water. That's so liberating. Still dropping the luck stone, I don't want to get crowned. Okay, I'll take Golden Glow. It gives you five extra health points. I think pretty much without limit. Um, so, like, I mean, it's difficult to pray consistently. Well, it's difficult to pray and get consistent results for sure, as I have amply demonstrated. Um, but it's also difficult not to get crowned if you're praying a whole lot. Um, even with my Luckstone dropped, I still have like a, I don't know, 1 in 10 chance maybe of getting ground. So um, I wouldn't say it's a sustainable way to increase your health, but it's nice to have for sure. <sighs> okay, Potion of Gain Ability Time. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in my bag. Hmm. Um, yep. Oh, and the potion of object detection I actually don't need in there anymore either. Let's see which of these cloaks is better if either. Don't need this in there. Don't need these. I should switch this out for the other bag I'm carrying around. And maybe you just keep up a potion of holy water in it. I don't know. Could be useful. Better to need not have. Am I right? Nope. I said that totally wrong. I am not right. Man, that 13 intelligent was hard won. And probably not won in a way that demonstrated that I should earn it. other bag is demoted to just a little sack now. So if and when I find a scare monster scroll, I'm going to stick it in the sack and I can just dump it out whenever I need to. As of yet, I have not, obviously. Um, plus one, that's cool. That might have been the player monster one that probably had a positive enchantment from that. Um, Honestly, I'm wondering if maybe in general I should be going with invisibility over displacement and then I can wear a slippery cloak all the time. Currently, I think warning is probably more valuable. But uh, when I'm finished with my quest, I should hopefully end up with my quest artifact. 
and that gives me warning. So I can switch to a ring of invisibility then. That'll be cool. <sighs> okay, we're finally, finally heading back to Ludios. How long has this video been going anyway? Oh boy. <laughs> 